Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with The House of Da Vinci 2, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get through Chapter 4. Enjoy! So it looks like this is where we fell through the time machine in the first game. I guess that's how the two games tie into each other. This is the letter. Come over here. All right, so this is a little tricky, bear with me, but you need to get both these wooden pieces pulled all the way up. So you can see what I'm doing. But look what happens now when we try um, to get the other one going. Alright, so now if we do this one... So now look what happens when we try getting the right. That goes down. That makes it tough, but we'll, we'll manage. Thank you. 
Here we go. Oh, did it! All right, wasn't too bad this time. So take a look at this keyhole. All right, and now open the folding key. Oops, and copy that pattern. Should look like that. Oh, wait, no. What am I doing? Like that, okay? Sorry about the noise outside. Sounds like an airplane. Just turn these, oops. And then pull this out. Okay. There's another socket here for something, but we don't have the tool yet, so we'll come back to it. All right, let's go over here. There's a slot for this. All right, so we have our Oculus back. Let's use it. All right, to take a look at this suspicious wall. Looks like there's space behind it, right? So come over here, slide this. And this. Now here. door. Alright, so this is our new skill. It's actually from the original game. You can see inside machinery. So come over here. And now pull, pull the lever down.
Okay. So, first off, let's use your Oculus. See these little black spots? So tap on each one, double tap, to add clues to your journal. That'll all make sense later. Okay. So now they're added in. Okay, so now there's two doors here that are locked. They have keyholes similar to this key. So let's open each one. You know what? I'm going to turn off uh, the hints because I'm not using them. They're just annoying. Okay, that looks like it, right? So now that's added to your journal. Looks like the marking over it, doesn't it? Okay, now the other one. Take a good look at that. This there. Um, hold on. Which one is missing? There we go, okay. Come on. All right, use two fingers, one on each. Pull this down. All right, so now we have a way down, but we don't need to go yet. Go back to the table. Place this in the center. All right, so you can read this. It's a little difficult, so it's easier to read it in your journal. here. This is pretty simple. So you want to rotate this so it looks like that. Okay. And then press the button. So now it should match up with the symbols underneath. Journal entry. Okay. 
Now this one, it's not a hard puzzle, but it's a little tedious. Uh, you basically have to use the gold tiles that are in, that are set in place to figure out how to place the silver tiles. Uh, they're a little over over sensitive, so just be careful how you move them. Do it slowly. At least as you get closer to the spot where you want to drop it. Okay. spot that I put it in. Okay, let's move these up. Dots with dots on the top go down there, go up there, so it's easier if you move things to the right side. This goes Oh, see, I look, that's what I mean. You really have to be careful. I don't know why it's like that, but it just like takes on a life of its own and starts heading in the opposite direction. there. Alright, let's start working on Come on, stay, stay put. Just be very careful how you do it. Hopefully they'll fix that one day because it's a little annoying. Okay, just turn that. Alright, another journal entry. Little. Oh, tricky. 
All right, now zoom in on this tower. Come on, here it is. It's a little hard to see from the bat from far away that there's something you can grab there. A little I don't know what we're saying because if you tap in the wrong spot to try to zoom in, you can't. So you really have to see that little. On an iPhone, it's probably a lot harder even. All right, to so grab that. And come over here. And now take this and take this. over here and strike this a few times all right so now, we need a way to clean the lens. So notice this looks different. So first, what you're gonna do is rotate these so they look like that, okay? Then move this yellow slider over here and rotate them that way. Place the dirty Place the dirty lens down, pull this out. Now you have a clean lens, polished lens. Go back here. All right, so this is tricky. Uh, you wanna watch the shapes on the screen. There's four of them that play in order. But the difficult part is figuring out which is first, where the start of the video is. I'm not really sure how you figure that out, other than trial and error. I got it to trial and error. So the first one is the diamond, that right there. Then it turns into that, then the star, Dungeons and Dragons die. Okay, so come back here. You're gonna start with the diamond. Then this one. Then this. And last is this. I don't have it though, so it's a little bit of a wrinkle. Okay, take it. Take the ornate case. Head back down. Remember the chest. This. Take the metal handle. And now let's attach it. Go 
back up. All right, so here we have to figure out a four digit number. So go back to that clue. Let me see if there's anything else. All right. So the two, the two arrows on the bottom right, that's telling you where to start, the starting point. It's pointing at 0507. So you go in a circle, 0507, then 1015, 2031, then the number that we need right now, and then 8127. So if you look at it, 0507 times 2 is 1014 plus 1 is 1015, okay? So 2 times 1015 is 2030 plus 1 is 2031. So just double 2031, you get 4062, add 1, and you get 4063. That's the answer. And then 8127 would be double that, okay? Oh, double plus 1. So four, oh, six, three. Okay, let's head up. Now notice this here, press this down, grab that, go back down, there's a hole here. Grab a lever. Head back up. Pull it down. Now we're in a courtyard. Okay, nothing new here. Let's use the Oculus. See, see some gears here. Let's come over here. Slowly turn this so it pushes up that spring. Same here. And then turn this. Uh... There we go. Go back to this planter. Find this object hidden in there. This is a fountain or well, whatever you want to call it. Pull these two in. Use the Oculus. All right, so this puzzle, what it's telling you is the shapes at the top tell you the order they need to go in. The numbers at the bottom tell you 
the order that you have to push them up in. So it's not, it's not so easy if you start pushing them up, uh, they block other pieces. So you have to line them all up in the center and then when you're ready, then start moving them up into position. So let's, let me show you. Let's move this out of the way. Leave that there. I didn't even push it in there. It's just over sensitive. Now we need the square. Um, I did not mean to do that. So let's do that. So you see what happens. It gets locked into place. You don't want that. Okay, we need the square next. Um, this. And now since we need the circle first. No, let's leave that. Circle. Okay. So you see how they all match now? They all match the top. So now go in order with the numbers. This is one, this is two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, come over here. Uh, over here, <laughs> sorry. Grab that. Open it in your bag. Add this. Turn it. Now you have a winch wheel. Turn it. Take the mask. Put it on this creepy guy. it here and now use the oculus again so here's this puzzle is very tricky um, the idea is to get you see the Roman numerals you need the numbers on the cylinder to add up to each of those numbers so four is the easiest because each is going to be one right so if you do that four works but all the other numbers do not. So you need to figure out exactly which ones are gonna work. So let's try this. Um, if you work on these three, the six and the five are fairly straightforward. Oh, and there you go. So that's it. Hope, hope you followed it. <laughs> I didn't have to do that much, actually. Uh, I took a screenshot of it on my, uh, from my, on my website. If that went too fast for you, going by those three numbers, the, the six, eleven, and five, that should be enough to help you. Um, anyway.
Look behind you. You have no idea how glad I am to see you, dear friend. Thirteen long years have passed before we finally meet again, Giacomo. You seem surprised. But if you look carefully at what I left you on the mechanical table up in the tower, you must already understand. Everything that happened, happened simply because it was part of my plan. Actually, to tell the truth, the fact that Borgia came through the gate with you was unexpected, but even then, we gained a head start over those dangerous people. We now have to hurry to one more place where my plans will either culminate or completely collapse. I will tell you the details on the way. Giacomo, I need your help now more than ever before. But we cannot delay a moment longer. Time is not on our side. Okay, so that's the end of chapter four. And I'll be back soon with chapter five. There you go. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.